Within our lab, we are doing all the different steps, starting with registering the samples, doing the DNA extraction, and then even the genotyping is done in our lab with an ABI DNA sequencer. And then we do the data analysis. So the whole chain of laboratory steps is done in our laboratory. So in, in forestry, you have a lot of monitoring system established since many decades. The main motivation for forest monitoring was, for example, the, the problems in the past with air pollution. So uh, there was a European-wide network of plots that has been established and a lot of soil and tree vitality parameters are measured regularly on a European scale. But so far, no genetics has been considered. But genetic variation is very fundamental for the stability and adaptability of the tree populations. Whenever environmental change like climate change or forest management have a negative impact on the genetic composition, genetic diversity of the stands, this should be visible by a genetic monitoring system. And uh, what we are doing in frame of the Forger project is uh, an additional pilot study, but this time on the European scale, to show what would be the best way to implement it in the existing monitoring system. We see also that we can definitely reduce the labor and the, the amount of work in frame of the project and getting nearly the same results with a more simple approach. So we definitely will provide at the end of the project a, a much improved protocol compared to what is so far on, on the market. The idea is to apply later this uh, genetic monitoring, particularly in the gene conservation units. So these are priority areas uh, identified all over Europe with the purpose of gene conservation. And here we believe that the new component that we address in the Forger project, that is the work on adaptive genes, where we have a very close link to things like phenology or drought resistance, that this will help us increase the awareness of the other groups that genetics is really important and can explain a big proportion of the variation that the forest inventory so far cannot explain because it's determined by the genetics. I see this massive amount of data that we never had before and the really interesting in new insights that we get in analyzing this. So we have more data than we have ever seen before. We have new technologies, particularly with the new genotyping capacities and, and all the, the, the massive advance of the next generation DNA sequencing techniques, which translate in, in a completely new and much broader set of uh, gene markers that we are using. So we are getting really very close to the genetic truth, let's say, what's going on in the population, much closer than we have been able, let's say, some 20 years ago. And that is really exciting on, on this point.